Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Thursday. <sighs> nice shirt you got. That is kind of a cool shirt, isn't it? It really and is. And a lot of the guys have this. Or, 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 I've seen it two or three times, but Bart Crow. Is that the guy me and you went and saw at KD's in West when it was open and he sang on the back patio and had one song? Man, we've talked about this and I do believe so. I, I think it was, man. I really believe it was. And that's when we first got back. It's like 2009, 8 yeah, or 9. Yeah, way back in the day. So that was like... Uh, I think that's him. He had one song. Yeah. It was on the radio, too. But he's here what, Friday? Tomorrow? Friday. And then don't forget. Eagles. You can't hardly beat the Eagles. And it's only 10 bucks. Get Hourglass first. It's going to play all your older rocking kind of stuff. And then the Eagles. And you know what? I, I've been an Eagles fan for a long time. This is the, what, third or fourth and time they've done the show? Well, this is the third time at one of our venues. Yeah, they did it yeah. at Cinema yes. last year at Backyard. They played a China Spring event and something else. And it's catching legs because yeah. it's that good. Can that I give good. a shout out to Big John, even though he probably ain't watching, Big John Embry for, you guys are going to notice something probably, if you ain't already noticed, our stage is expanded. And it's, we ain't got the cover on it yet. We just got the outskirts to where. It was, it's it moved out almost 13 feet. Not, I'm telling you. Still still got some other things to do, like take some poles out and yeah. stuff. But it, it's going to be wider. I, I think it's going to be a really, a big plus when it comes to the axe. Yeah. I'm thinking of our <laughs> Whiskey Myers, your Pat Green, your... The bigger act that bring a lot, they got. We're gonna have more room. It's gonna look bigger, like it's a, because we got. And for the you first time viewers, backyardwaco.com. Go yeah. look it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A place we uh, own half of, and very proud of. Very for the fact that it's doing really well, and I think we just got a really cool place. Can I can I talk about that? Can yeah, I talk that, about? Yeah. I don't want to talk about the backyard. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about perception. Mm -hmm. perception. I want people to understand the perception because we have learned how the how, being in the film business, being in the bar business, be, we've learned what perception means. And when we had cinema, everybody, man, this is a great place. Mm -hmm. Hold 250 people, 300 people. If 250 people were there, it was packed. And for two years that we had it, we got lucky enough not to take one dime. Why? Because we wasn't making enough to yeah, do it. just broke even, all that. So, time. backyard comes up. We've had this. This is our third summer, wouldn't you say? Is this that correct? Start of our third summer? Mm. No. Second summer. So second full summer. And we've been lucky enough not to take a dime. Because we have to do payroll. we got to do maintenance. So somebody, and a huge, huge startup cost. Yes. And and I have to do this. I have to take the old pictures before we started and go out there and retake the new pictures from the, the same, same place. place. Yes, yes. And give, I, I'm going to do that. Okay, good. Because I had somebody go, dude, y'all are killing it. Y'all are raking it in. And I went, well, the business is Kinda. working. And they went, how come we don't, how come Brazil's still working and Brian and, and Brian's still playing all over town, and you guys are d still doing commercials and weddings and stuff. I went, that's how we were getting paid. That's how we're putting money in our pocket because you have to, you got, you got cost. The perception is the backyard's doing great. Well, most, most, uh, the rule of thumb is most businesses don't make money in the first two years. And guess what? We're right on track. <laughs> With Red Sea, we've been going in about eight, uh, yeah. nine years, so we're still. <laughs> don't tell the IRS they want us to shut oh, the doors. Man. But we've done a lot. Yeah. I mean, there's concrete and there's steel, and yeah, we called in a lot of favors. A lot. But the favors were, hey, don't just don't charge us full price. Yes. And it still had to be paid for, but we are real, real close to finally getting our first check. 
I know I'm pretty excited about that because we still owe people money that has helped us out. And that's things that, hey, coming from my, mine and you, our Red Sea days, we had to have investors to help us get the projects to where they are now to where we can just get them on Amazon. So it, it ain't like, there's a reason I live in a duplex and pretty dang <laughs> happy with it because it's cheap. Right. But don't look at the perception of people and judge that. I don't I don't like when people do that. When when and then I not just me and you and Brian and Brazil, but with just others about, oh, you're out there working your butt off, you must be raking in the dough. Man, you working your butt off because you gotta pay those bills. But only the people watching the show will know this. But we have been flat, flat Flat ass broke in the last ten years. We could go under flat and you, you could go yeah, like we're flat. holding on to flat where we don't fall under. in. But no one ever knew it. No. Will you tell because me? there's no reason for somebody else to know it. Correct. Will you tell the story? And I know if you guys have heard this before, and it and it is perception. But when you have an opportunity, just one opportunity <clears throat> that could change your life, you have to take it. Will you please tell the story of when we went and met the producer, the original it, producer? His name's Jack. I don't even remember how we crossed paths. It was somebody who knew him, and he was the original producer of The Blob. The now, movie. he is 80 years old, 80-plus, yeah. 50-year-old wife, and he went, I want to meet you guys. There's a movie I might want you to shoot. So we load up and we head to LA. <clears throat> we live in Phoenix. We live in Phoenix. And we don't have much money. That's the story will come in in a second. So we get there and he wants to meet in Beverly Hills and it's above like a shopping center and it's just a little cafe. Yep. Well, we have to buy this guy's. We have to buy his lunch. Correct. Already made it. Listen, we're buying his lunch. And we might have had a hundred and twenty dollars to our name in a green two-door Hyundai, right? That luckily got great gas mileage because when we got up there and we opened the menu, and we went, ah, quesadilla is twenty-nine dollars. <laughs> uh, Greek salad, thirty-something dollars. <laughs> oh, and his wife shows up too, so he gets fruit. Yep. A salad. She gets something. Russell and I split a quesadilla. A quesadilla. I'm, when I say we had $120 to our name, that's I, I take that back. We probably had $150. Yeah. But we had to gas up to get back to Phoenix, which was five hours, four and a half, five hours. The bill came out, and it was $119. I'll never forget that number. Yep. And we pulled that over, and we paid that bill. And we have been laughing about it ever since. Now, go to the movie. It was a really big sci-fi picture. I still have the script. Yep. A big sci-fi picture that just we couldn't pull off. But we took the chance. We we had to, you know. And we had our, our buddy Corey with us. And he was parked around the corner because nobody needed to see that car. He sat in the car. You know, yeah, he couldn't even go in and eat with us because we didn't have enough money. But those are the stories that, it, it's funny, uh, I couldn't sleep last night and I was going through Twitter and Damon John went, you know, the guys that were flat broke three times, a lot of times end up having a success story. Right. Well, after 33 times, we are <laughs> getting close, <laughs> getting real close. The perception is... And that's about like 15 years ago. Yeah. The perception is we're we're going to make this guy think we have the capability of doing what he needs us to do, do because he's somebody went, hey, these guys can do it. And we talked about it, and we did finally, after going back and forth, we went, sir, we're, we, we, don't, we can't pull this off. Yeah. We can't pull this off. And we wasn't about to take that guy's money and try to do something we couldn't do. So life lesson was sometimes – you got to spend that money, and you ain't going to make that money. Yeah, and you ain't going to get nothing back for it. And that was a simple case. That was a, you know, it had monsters that, this was before the time of. CGI. Of, of CGI. Yeah. I mean, Hollywood had it. Yes. But 
folks like us didn't have it. And I don't think he ever got that movie made. Uh, it was almost as good as War of the Worlds. That's what I thought. I'm like, Lord Jesus. We can't yeah, it was, that. it was a... <clears throat> yeah. Now with Big John and Big George, they could have been our monsters. But right. hey, going to get out of here. We got a new sponsor. Uh, I don't think... Do we have the banner? No, it's not up. I but think so. D-Bolt Construction. Yep. They want verbal mentions anyway. What so D-Bolt Construction. D-Bolt Construction. D-Bolt Construction. D-Bolt Construction. D-Bolt Construction. Man, you covered it up for, for the deal. And that orange kind of matches their colors. You yeah. see them around town. Orange and black, D-Bolt Construction. Brandon and his dad. and I, I, Probably some other family members working. Uh, but here's the deal. The only person you need to know is Cindy. Yeah. We don't care about anybody else. Cindy's married to him. Cindy's our good friend. So we'll just say hi to Cindy. And if you need some stuff done, you can call Cindy and she'll tell Brandon what to do. Yeah, that That's sounds like a good idea. Pretty good idea yeah. right there. But roof, remodeling, everything will have their banner up next week. But we'll give them a shout out. Thank you guys for coming on to being a sponsor. Remember, tomorrow, Bart Crow, Saturday, the Eagles. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be fun. Hey, and don't forget, we always have live music on Sundays. Yeah, that's right. Good About call. 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Uh, sometimes we put it back on the back porch where we can sit under the trees and it's not as hot. Not as hot. And we got washers and, and soft toss and cornhole and all that stuff. So, <gasps> so come on out. Have a wonderful weekend. Till Monday. I'm Russ. This is Chris. We're out of here. And we didn't know what the special was, so... <laughs> <laughs>